Welcome back to AIPRM Tutorials. Today we're going to go over how to select and use a prompt. Before we even start, make sure that you are on ChatGPT and that you have your AIPRM Chrome extension enabled. If not, go to our troubleshooting section. We've got you covered. Okay. So we've got all these different prompts that we can use. In another video, we'll go through how to select and find prompts. But say, for instance, we want to use this outline generator for blog. We'll just click on the prompt, and you'll see at the bottom here, the title appears, the author. First off, for every prompt, you'll notice that we have the output in. That's the language that will be generated from ChatGPT. The tone. So we do have the default. However, if you purchase the premium plans from AIPRM, you get to select from all these different really cool tones that are added on and influence the style of the output. Same with writing style, which is different from tone. We've got all the different writing styles on the premium plans. But for this case, we have here the hint, which is the topic. So what do we want our blog post to be about? We want it to be about the water park that we are opening up. So we just put in water park. And obviously you can get more complicated with those prompts, but boom, chat GPT is working based on the behind the scenes prompt that was created. Now I do want to go back and show you another version of a prompt just so you're not caught by surprise. Say for instance, in this case, we're doing the right 30 Twitter posts for small business, right? I click on that. Now we actually see different fields that we'll need to fill out. So this is a prompt that uses variables. You'll just want to fill out each of the individual fields. So in this case, for the Twitter post, it wants the industry. We'll say a hair salon. The products and services, we'll say a haircut. We'll say location, Nashville, going down south. How many hashtags? Because Twitter, you want to only do maybe one or two. We'll put one. For emojis, we want one emoji, maybe. Okay, and for our business name, we'll call it Dolly Parton. Isn't that clever? You love it. Okay, boom, all of a sudden, generating these uh, Twitter posts. It's got the emojis in there. It's got image gift recommendations. Super cool. Can use this for my beautiful hair salon. That's it. If you have any questions, please head back to the tour tutorials. We've got so many of them for you to use to make sure that you are getting the most out of AIPRM or head over to our community forum. We always love more new members of the community uh, so much about building your prompts, creating the best prompts and using AIPRM for JetGPT. That's it. Catch you later.